Hello everyone! Today we're doing Maru. That's right, Sebastian's half-sister. And that's gonna work out great because just recently we dumped Sebastian, kicked him out of our lives. So now we can see what he thinks and we try to bang his sister. And speaking of which, our very first interaction. Hello, have you met my mother? She's a town's carpenter. Yes, I gave her a rock last time I saw her. She didn't seem to like it very much. Apparently Maru is not a very talkative person. She only said one thing. She does like iridium bars. Spectacular, she says. She might actually have a half-decent vocabulary. And of course, along the way, we'll be messing with my current wife, the mediocre artist known as Leah. She just wants to stay in bed. But someone's gotta look after the kids while I sleep the days away. Wow, I don't think I've actually seen her get out of bed once yet. She must be really unhappy. Yeah, I'd say she's pretty unhappy. But that sounds like a personal problem, not one of mine. I really don't know what her problem is. She's in a loveless marriage, living with kids that definitely aren't hers, and a husband that does nothing but make fun of her. But I'm sure she'll feel better soon. I'm sure her art career is going to take right off. Here we go with gift number two. I plan on spending a lot of time with my telescope this summer. If you know what I mean, here's your iridium bar. Okay, now that we got that brilliant joke out of the way, we're gonna sit here and wait for the carpenter shop to open so we can go see the mopey vampire Sebastian. Still in bed, of course. Why do you keep bothering me? I'm trying to forget about you. Well, that's gonna be pretty hard to do with me coming and seeing you every few days. Okay, so in the last video, someone asked me what happens if you shoot someone with explosive ammo from your slingshot. Truth is, I don't know. I've now loaded my slingshot. Let's find out. Seems to be the same effect. They simply don't like it. Okay, now that we've answered that important question, let's move on to next week's gifts. Leah's out of bed for the first time in forever. Let's see what she has to say. Huh? Nothing's wrong. I'm fine. See? Perfect. Nothing wrong with her. She's perfectly happy. And for Sebastian today, I brought him a nice piece of coal that matches his personality. For some reason, he doesn't want any gifts from me. Leah probably likes coal. She can make art with it. I guess everyone has different tastes. An artist, if anyone, should know that. Sort of like I prefer Maru over my current wife. Finally, she comes out. Hello, good morning. Hey, sorry if I seem cranky. I'm a little sore from work yesterday. And I'm tired of looking at your face. Here's some iridium. I had to carry 10 boxes of medical files to the attic. Okay, you're clearly not known for your physical endurance. Any clever two-heart dialogue? Sebastian is my half-brother, if you didn't know already. I actually know quite a lot about Sebastian. I was married to him for a little while. We look totally different. Thanks, I have eyes too though. What about you? Anything clever to say today? It's summer. That means the house is full of flies. Don't worry, I'll take care of them. What you do with your life is not my concern. What do you got today? Sorry, I was just thinking about some gadgets I'm making. I've decided I'm going to build a robot someday. I'd say you should be more realistic, but in a world where I can turn my children into doves, that should be very easy for you. Really? Are you sure you're not just trying to flatter me? Well, I'm also doing that, but I think I'm doing a pretty good job of it. When Iridium Bar for my favorite scientist. The 10th of summer is Maru's birthday, so let's see how she likes her birthday present. It's the same gift I give her every week. A birthday gift? That's very kind of you. I love it. I know you do. Are you enjoying the season? Not particularly. What's in this room? Oh, it's just a back door. Hey buddy, you know it's your sister's birthday today, right? Okay, heart event time. I'm so sick of preparing these samples. You look ridiculous in your nurse outfit, by the way. And she broke her beaker. Oh no. Well, that was stupid. The whole sample is ruined. Harvey's going to kill me. What was it a sample of that's so important? Mumps, what should I do? Just scoop it off the floor. He won't know the difference. Don't say that. You lose friendship points for that. Tell Harvey it was an accident. That's a good answer. You're right, I should just tell him the truth. The truth is, he's really boring. Here he comes now. What happened? I heard something break. I accidentally dropped one of the samples. I'm so sorry. Thanks for telling me the truth, Maru. Don't worry about the sample, we'll just get another one. Which once again brings up the question, what is it? He seems pretty happy about that. He's probably not very happy to see me. We weren't on the best terms even when we were married. Thanks for being patient with me, Dr. Harvey. AKA Dr. Boring. Of course, you've been a big help around here. I don't know what I'd do without you. It is a pretty busy place, so you know. Mumps, you look a little pale. Are you feeling okay? Yeah, you look like shit yourself. What of it? While we're here, we'll see what Nurse Maru has to say. 
Sebastian hardly ever talks to me, I wonder if he even likes me at all. Probably not, he's kind of a douche. It's sad, I want to have a brother, but he doesn't act like one. Believe me, Sebastian's not really a good friend or a really good person at all. Any clever thoughts at your telescope? It's hard to really grasp the scale of the universe. Well, you're not wrong. Have a purple bar. And it's time for another heart event. Don't mind me, I'm just creeping around in the bush. Mumps, I'm surprised to see you here so late. I'm always here late, watching you sleep. The night sky looks amazing right now. I bet it does. Come over here, I want to show you something. Here, take a peek. As we peer through the telescope. What do you see? I don't see anything. It would be really helpful if I could actually look through the telescope. A beautiful planet, that's what we see. There's probably one out there somewhere. It's amazing, isn't it? By the time any of these stars are visited, you and I will be long gone. Well, that's not necessarily true. This world is full of witches and wizards and magic, so I'm sure we could get to the planet somehow. I guess that's the trouble with being human, huh? I don't think so, I rather enjoy being a human. Never mind. Good idea, save me the time. Here, let me show you a binary star system. I'd rather not, but whatever. Because I need you to be my wife, I'll play game. And the screen slowly pans up into the sky and there is at least one planet up there that I could see. What a beautiful night, Maru showed me something new because I'd never looked up before at the sky. Well, that was exciting. I wonder what my current wife is doing. Oh, she's in bed. Of course she is. She's always in bed. I'd say she's exhausted, but she doesn't really do anything. Here she is one more time, her seven heart dialogue. Sebastian hardly ever talks to me. I wonder if he even likes me at all. I think that's the same thing she said in the clinic. It's sad. I want to have a brother, but he doesn't act like one. I'd like to point out that he is simply your half-brother, so don't get too excited about the whole brother thing. I've got a few kids you can have though, if that makes you feel better. And let's have a word with my clearly depressed wife. So, I heard you secretly gave Maru a gift today. Yeah, I'm sure that's helping the problem just wonderfully. When it rains, I have a good excuse to work on my gadgets all day. That's funny, when it rains, I just sleep. It must be kind of boring for you though. Not really, I love sleeping. Purple bar? And with the last gift of Iridium, she is now up to 8 hearts, which means we get an 8 heart event, and I can give her the flowers to boost her up to 10 hearts. So let's check out the heart event. I think that's the only time I've ever knocked on anyone's door in this game, I usually just barge on in. Mumps, hi, come in. I've been working on a new project, something big. This is just one component, let me show you a little demonstration. Just put your hand here. And now I'm going to flip the switch. Why do I have to put my hand on it for it to work? Clearly that's a good invention. I'm pretty sure it just electrocuted me. Oh my god, are you alright? Yes, your robot just discharged 60,000 volts into my hand, but I'm fine. Here, let me apply this burn cream. Well, at least things are taking a positive turn now. Oh, and just like magic, I'm better. I'm so sorry, she says. It's okay, it doesn't even hurt. Obviously I'm real tough. Oh no? Well, that makes me feel a little better than thanks. That kind of ruined a moment, huh? Well, that's okay. I'll take it out on you once we're married. Alright, now it's just a usual strategy, giving her bouquets of flowers again and again until she's up to 10 hearts. She's currently at 8. Doesn't take long. Okay, she's up to 10 hearts just like that, so I think we can see the 10 heart event, yes we can, on the same day. Hey, I was hoping you'd come by. Well, here I am, delivered to your bedroom. Remember when I told you about the new project I'm working on? The I do remember, and boy, I hope it doesn't electrocute me. Well, it's finally done, and I want to show you. I'll be sure not to put my hands on it this time. Follow me. I guess it's perfectly normal to have a trapdoor in your house that leads down to a dungeon or something, I presume? Okay, turns out there's a whole basement thing under their house. And here it is, Maru's interactive laboratory device, Alpha. Or as I like to call her, Marilda. Marilda rhymes with... It's a very strange workspace, I've got to say. I've been working on her for months. I bet you have. It probably takes a long time to build a robot. I was waiting for you to be here when I activate her. How do you plan on getting her out of the basement? She looks very heavy and there's only a ladder to get out. Well, here goes nothing. She touches it on the hand and it's a steam-powered robot apparently. That sounds efficient. 
It does a little happy dance, it seems to be functioning. Greetings, Maru. No need to respond, I have already predicted what you will say. Apparently it's got advanced intelligence, maybe we'll be going to the planets after all. Aha, I knew it, says Demetrius. He's perhaps not impressed? What is it? It's a robot idiot, you're the scientist. Dad, calm down, this is my latest invention, Marilda. Greetings, Demetrius. Sweet Yoba, it talks. This is why you've locked yourself in your room the last few months? Yeah, she was doing something productive. Unlike Sebastian. And I thought you were down here fooling around with mumps. Like literally or... Dad, I've been making this robot for you and Mom. And for the record, I've never been down here. Marilda's designed to assist you in the laboratory and Mom in the carpentry table, so when I'm not living here anymore, it won't be such a burden on you guys. Excuse me? I'm sorry, Maru, but I do not want to be your servant. You tell her, robot. In the time since you activated me, I have been pondering the nature of my existence with the self-awareness module you installed on my neural cortex. I'm sorry to disappoint you all, but I must ask for my freedom. I've decided to explore the galaxy in search of other synthetic life forms. It's okay, Maru. Let Marilda go free. Your mother and I can take care of ourselves. I know you're ready to start a life of your own, and I've come to terms with the thought of not having you around anymore. Is anyone going to address the issue that we're letting an intelligent robot go into the wild? Besides, this creation of yours seems pretty advanced. It wouldn't feel right to keep her as a servant. No, let's let her run free in the mountains so she can go around killing people or doing whatever she does. Mumps, I'm sorry I mistrusted you. You're a good guy. Nope, you were right the first time. I'm not a good guy. I've never seen Maru so lively and creative, and I've never been more proud of her. If you've had a hand in that, then you have my gratitude. You're not going to be very impressed with me when I crush her soul and divorce her in three to five days. She's speechless for the moment. Looks back at her robot. Marilda, let's get you out of this stuffy hole. Yes, logistically I want to see how you accomplish that. That robot is clearly not designed for climbing. Oh, but magically here we are. In the rain too, that's probably good for the circuits. Thank you for creating me, Maru. I won't forget you. And it's also made of rockets, which blast into space. Maru must be quite the inventor if she can build a rocket in her basement. Especially when it can hit orbit. NASA has trouble doing that. Not sure what it hopes to find way out there in space, but look her to go. Yeah, nice robot dummy. Maybe next time make one that can escape Earth. Well, what do you think, Mumps? All sorts of answers. I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna stare at Maru and say nothing. That's the easiest course of action. Mumps? And she brings it in for a kiss on the cheek. That concludes the Ten Heart event. Any new thoughts? I didn't know you felt the same. Why do you think I bring you gifts every week? Maybe you're not as bright as I thought you were. Now that that's over with, I've got to go see a guy about a divorce. Good morning to you, Mayor Lewis. Just here for the usual divorce. 50,000 gold, blah blah blah. While I'm here, let's find out what happens if you shoot the mayor of the town with your sink shot. Ow, I can't believe you would do that to me. I have a feeling that's a pretty generic dialogue. And clearly word doesn't spread around town very fast, otherwise he would know I would do that to him because I shoot everyone with a slingshot. We'll see if my wife has any last words before she's kicked out of my house. You've been so cold to me lately. Yeah, about that. I need to go to bed. Thanks for being my wife for a bit or whatever though. Now I need to wait for a rainy day. Because I used my last pendant on stupid Leah. Alright, so the first rainy day of fall didn't happen until the 12th. Fall tends to be a very dry month, at least for me. One more time, 5,000 gold, one mermaid pendant. Hi, good morning, let's get married. Three days, blah blah blah. Any updates from this weirdo? Why do you keep bothering me? I'm trying to forget about you. Same thing as always. And here's one more wedding day. The only thing that changes is one more X in the crowd. So in her personal area up here, Maru simply has a toaster. And hopefully she likes kids because there's two in the house. Have you figured out what you're going to use for a grand display tomorrow? No, nothing at all. I'm not going to bother. And inside she has an axe and a miniature robot, a telescope, and several computers. Several of those things should not be in the house. Good morning, newest wife. I have to leave for work soon. I'll see you tonight. I'll be thinking of you. Well, at least this one actually works. 
I'd better go talk to Leah and Sebastian to see what they think of this. Oh yeah, I guess I'm not going to be able to see Leah because only her friends can go in her house now. And I don't think I'm classified as her friend anymore. What about you, weirdo? Anything new? Why do you keep bothering me? Nothing new. He wasn't exciting before and he's not exciting now. I got up early and fed all the farm animals. I hope that makes your job a little easier today. Well, I never feed them anyway, so yeah, whatever. Hey, can we put the kids inside the next rocket you build and send them into space? I hope you don't mind if I spend some time on my projects today, honey. I really don't care what you do with your time. Anyways, that's going to be it for this video because that concludes Maru, now that she's all married and my wife for a few days. And no, I haven't forgotten about my other series, The Completionist series. I will get back on that probably within the next few days. And I do have a few other games I want to get into, try a few videos on them, see how that goes. Before I get too far into the other games, I do want to buy a new computer, however. In saying that, maybe a few of the more knowledgeable people out there could help me out in deciding what kind of computer to get. I obviously need one that can play the games, preferably with high-end graphics and all that stuff, so any ideas out there, do let me know. Also, I'd mentioned potentially doing a live stream this weekend. I don't think that's going to happen. I really wanted to, but given the circumstances, I don't think it's a good idea for me to commit and then have to let you down, so I'm just going to push it till next week or next weekend when I'm sure I can do it and just don't want to disappoint anyone. If it is a success however I will do more of them I would be happy to do them all the time if people want to watch. Now that I've rambled on for quite some time, hope you liked this video, thanks for watching.